and welcome to the fifth episode of IB Physics Help video podcast. Today's topic is uniform motion. What is the equation of motion for this type of motion? What are equations of motion anyway? How can we use them in solving problems? You'll find the answers in today's podcast. Here is an outline of today's podcast. First, we define the term equation of motion. Then, we'll introduce the equations of motion for the simplest type of motion, uniform motion. And later, two worked examples will allow us to see how the equations of motion can be used to solve simple problems. Let's get started. In general, the position, velocity and acceleration of a moving body change in time. In these podcasts, I'm using the term equation of motion to simply label any mathematical formula that gives us the position, the velocity or the acceleration of a moving object as a function of time. In simple words, an equation of motion tells us how each one of these quantities changes in time. You can get a general idea of what an equation of motion is by considering the following simple example. A car is moving at steady speed in a straight line at 3 meters per second. Its motion can be described either by using a table like the one shown on the screen or by indicating how the position of the car changes in time as x equals 3 multiplied by t. This is the equation of motion that gives us the position of the car as a function of time. The latter approach is preferable since it gives us the position of the car at any moment in time. Just a quick example that shows you why the second approach is superior. Let's try to answer a simple question. What is the position of the car after 7.2 seconds? Of course, the answer can be found using the information given in the table. However, when the equation of motion is used, we simply plug in the numbers in the equation and we get for the position 3 times 7.2 equals 21.6 meters. And that's the answer to our question, 21.6 meters after 7.2 seconds. Now let's focus on finding a general equation of motion for uniform motions. First, we don't need an equation for velocity or acceleration. The velocity of a body undergoing uniform motion is always constant and the acceleration is zero. Therefore, the only relevant equation of motion here is the one that gives us the position of the moving body as a function of time. If a moving car has a constant velocity v, its velocity is given by the formula v equals x minus x0 over t minus t0, where x0 is the position or the coordinates of the car at time t0, often called the initial position, and x is the position of the car at time t. Very often t0 is 0. In other words, we start the timer when the car is at the position x0. However, sometimes this is not possible, as you will see very soon in our second work example. Therefore, the most general case has to cover that possibility. By rearranging the equation, we get x equals x0 plus v multiplied by t minus t0. If v is known and the initial position of the car is known, so x0 and t0 are known, then the equation gives us the position x of the car at any moment in time. This is the equation of motion for uniform motion. So in general, if the velocity and the initial conditions are known, this equation gives us the position of the moving object as a function of time and allows us to calculate that position at any point in time. There are simplified variation of this formula. When possible, t0 is 0 and the formula becomes x equals x0 plus vt. Another way of writing the formula is using displacement. s is the final position x minus the initial position x0 and the formula becomes s equals vt. Let's now consider a simple numerical example. The equation of motion of a moving car is x equals 42 minus 5 multiplied by t minus 3. This is in meters. Let's try to identify the main features of this motion. By writing the general equation describing a uniform motion, we can conclude the following. 
The initial position of the car is 42 meters. The velocity is minus 5 meters per second, which means that the car moves in what is considered to be the negative direction at 5 meters per second. In our example, the positive direction of the axis is to the right. T0 equals 3 seconds, which means that the car sets off 3 seconds after the timer used to describe this motion is started. Here we had the equation of motion and from it we figured out the main features of that motion. Of course the opposite is also possible. We can construct the equation of motion using the initial conditions and the velocity of a body that undergoes uniform motion. It's now time for two worked examples. Worked example number one. A red car and a blue van, initially 5 kilometers apart, start moving towards each other at 12 meters per second and 8 meters per second, respectively. Where and when are they going to meet? To keep the things simple, in both these and the next example, we assume that the motion of each car is uniform and we neglect the short accelerating period just after they set off. Now you might want to pause the video and try to find out the answer. And now the answer. The cars meet after 250 seconds at 3000 meters away from the point where the red car set off. I hope you've got the same answer. Let's see how it's done. The general idea is as follows. We write the equations of motion for each of the two cars and then, in order to find out when and where they meet, we put a condition that they are at the same position at the same time. Remember, in everyday life, in order to meet someone, you and that person have to be at the same time at the same place. In other words, we are looking for a value of t for each the x-coordinates of the two cars are the same. As the two cars set off at the same time, we can safely take here t0 equals 0. The general equation of motion becomes x equals x0 plus vt. Let's write the equation of motion for the red car. x equals 12t. We considered here, for simplicity, that the origin of our x-axis coincides with the initial position of the red car and the positive direction of the x-axis coincides with its direction of motion. Now let's write down the equation of motion for the blue van. The initial position is 5 km away, so x0 is 5000 meters. The car moves at 8 meters per second to the left, therefore v equals minus 8 meters per second. And the equation is x equals 5000 minus 8t. To find out the coordinate x prime at the time t prime when the two cars meet, we put the condition that for t equals t prime, the two coordinates coincide. x car equals x van, and from here we have 12t prime equals 5000 minus 8t prime. A very simple equation to solve. 20 t prime equals 5000 from where we can get the value for t prime 250 seconds then we can replace straight away t prime in either of the two equations of motion and we get x prime equals 3000 meters so the two cars meet after 250 seconds at 3000 meters away from the initial position of the red car let's now move to a slightly more difficult example 